Hi guys, welcome to the channel General of Reading for my friends Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for October 2020. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, opening theme for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for October 2020. Let's see what we can get for you guys. What do you need to release? This is always a meaningful question, you know, that can be helpful in order to uh, understand, even in a brave way, what can be useful, you know, to keep with us and what instead may be expired, you know. And maybe um, it is time to leave behind. So, an evaluation of some aspect, some factor that may be involved in a situation can be a positive approach to take. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about this energy for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, October 2020. All right. The High Priestess. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. This is very interesting. The Empress. The Magician. Six of Wands. Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, bottom of the deck, a bright new spark, a very auspicious opportunity for a new beginning that can be extremely passionate and a true source of inspiration. Now, I will pull the Ace, uh, guys, because we have the two of wands and the three of wands in the first row of energies plus the magician that can work with all the aces and this can be the opportunity even to resolve some situation that may see involved a touch of not exactly loyal uh, behavior the seven of swords bottom of the ace the tower so a change is due in order to uh, allow a new chapter, a new phase to begin. So guys, first row of energies, usually the person that you are dealing with or your person of interest. Feel free to pick your side if you feel that the reading is going to resonate in the reverse. So this person, I kind of love this flow of energy uh, because um, they have embraced a meaningful decision moment in their journey. Some of them are already through the two of ones soulful decision moment and they are in the three of ones. So the waiting for the universe to deliver on the wishes that this man has set in a very clear way in his mind and then he has thrown them out basically into the universe others are um, evaluating meaningful aspects about their life because this man is holding the world in his hand so his life for me taking um, into consideration all the aspects that may be involved in what this person may desire to pursue the High Priestess offers a touch of higher power because uh, it allows this person to get in touch with their intuition, a quiet moment. This can even be a situation where this person does not talk uh, quite a lot, you know, because they are trying to figure what their next steps can be 
in order to achieve success. The high priestess knows everything, but she speaks only the essentials. You know, she's in touch with the higher world, the world that we cannot see, but the one that we can feel if we pay the right amount of attention. This person is able to do this meaningful uh, operation, I want to say, and this will make all the difference for them. The Three of Wands is a very spiritual energy. It is about being open to co-create in order to achieve an outcome and also um, kind of trusting the process, you know, because this man is waiting for the sun to come up and the ships to come in with all the treasures. Basically, he knows that it's just a matter of time before the universe can deliver, you know, and he is ready to put in the effort and we have effort in the meeting of the energies, eight of pentacles, three of pentacles. Now, this person can, can uh, be involved in uh, an evaluation that may be about love partnerships or professional opportunities at, at the same time, meaning that one choice can be an influence for the other, you know, uh, kind of um, interacting uh, scenarios. They may have dealt with situations that um, basically have taken advantage of them and for this very reason they were called to release this kind of recurrent patterns in order to move forward in a different way a more auspicious one ace of wands something that this person can recognize as a powerful new beginning something that can be a source of passion for them so this is quite something second row of energies guys usually you watching beautiful the magician energy heart of the reading with the empress even more this is a, a combination that is basically a route towards success for some of you uh, extremely comfortable with yourself um, just like the Empress can be, you know how to nurture yourself, you may have learned how to do so through your experiences, meaning that you may have even um, powered through challenges because we have the Six of Wands that is the warrior that comes back from the Battle Victorious, you know, so it is a successful movement forward, but this man has gone through battle and then he came back this can be true for some of you also the empress is a beautiful energy about love that starts from within and it is available to be displayed in favor of particular circumstances because the empress can recognize um, the opportunities that are deserving of her nurturing and caring and loving energies and this is a beautiful energy about growth, you know. The Empress can allow these opportunities to develop themselves according to their full potential, their highest potential, in a healthy way. And the Magician is offering a further touch in order to embrace and achieve this higher level of manifestation, you know. He can deal with all the tools that he has at his disposal and is the one with the higher vision he can see opportunities where other people cannot see anything and this combination the empress the magician is about recognizing meaningful opportunities that can be a source of um, love that can truly satisfy a person and possibly the special one that they want to build a partnership with because we have talked about a potential battle for this warrior that is coming back, the Seven of Swords may have been a factor that you have encountered in your journey. Some not exactly loyal behavior, you know, um, some pattern that was not aimed at the best possible outcome. You may have learned how to deal with this kind of uh, situations, you know, 
putting in effort because the eight of pentacles can be also about uh, some of you guys but at the same time you have chosen the path of self-love in order to call in and manifest the brand new opportunities full of passion and extremely fiery that can truly be the one or the ones if uh, we are talking about multiple uh, levels, you know, professional, love partnership, personal growth. The opportunities that you can recognize as the ones able to uh, light up a spark, ignite a spark within you in order to be successful. Because you know how to be successful with this beautiful magician energy, heart of the reading. So the what do you need to release may be something past related for those of you guys that may resonate. And you were successful basically. Six of Wands. Victory, triumph, an auspicious uh, opportunity even for recognition. You can be even in a, in a position that is quite uh, in the eye of other people. And uh, you can even be... Um, highly sought after basically you can catch the eye of people around you and this can also be a touch of uh, jealousy and envy for the success that you are able to manifest for yourself because these seven of swords can work even in that uh, kind of direction the meeting of the energies is about kind of the factors that I have already mentioned. There is effort, eight of pentacles, the willingness to put in the time and focused approach that is required in order to be successful just like this man that knows uh, what it takes in order to bring to life all these beautiful pentacles that are the source for his satisfaction, fulfillment and success. Plus, there is a touch uh, of cooperation that uh, is offered by the Three of Pentacles. Now, this combination can be about the person in the first row, because maybe they are even considering how to be successful in what they know can be the path for them professionally, you know? And they want to choose maybe a different route. This can be a combination that speaks about those of you guys extremely successful uh, and um, very driven with um, high standards in how to pursue your goals and how to manifest them in a positive way at the same time this combination can be about the potential connection between the person in the first row and some of you so the willingness to work together, this is lovely. And to putting in the effort in order to facilitate the new spark. The Seven of Swords can be someone around you and around the person in the first row. A little bit jealous, a little bit uh, envious. Um, someone that uh, would love to <laughs> do the things uh, the way you can do them, but maybe they are not able to do so. And, and so they try to take you down a little bit. It's extremely difficult to do so because those of you that may resonate with this Empress, the Magician combination, basically uh, do not care about this petty behavior. And even the person in the, in the first row, if they are dealing with some situation like this one, with the Eight Priestess, they are so focused on, on what truly matters uh, for them that they will overcome these seven of swords we'll clarify it just out of curiosity but uh, i'm not particularly concerned so guys uh, let's go for a couple of clarification i will go for the two of ones that is a soulful decision again for me it is meaningful because it is the path to ignite the three of ones basically the ace of ones is the the vision, allow me to say, that the person in the first row may have uh, to pursue in some way. Eight of Swords, they were called to overcome 
a situation that was a source of anxiety. Um, the Eight of Swords is a prison of the mind, kind of the lady surrounded by swords, which are thoughts, does not see a way out, but the, the way out is offered because if she walks forward, she can be free from this self-inflicted uh, torture of the mind. This can be a situation related to these uh, seven of swords, you know, that can be a um, source of discomfort for this person. This can be a past related uh, flow of energies. What do you need to release? This person may have embraced the awareness that it is a good thing for them to release whatever we can find in the overwhelming energies offered by the Eight of Swords. The Eight Priestess is the introspection in order to achieve the clarity that can allow this person to make the best possible decision moving forward and kind of igniting the higher level of manifestation with the Three of Wands. With effort and the willingness to learn meaningful lessons, meaningful things that we didn't know before. For example, this person has the key to overcome the struggles that we can find in the Eight of Swords. So this is encouraging for them. It may take a little bit of time depending on the circumstances, but uh, it is something that they can achieve. Then, guys, uh, considering the warrior coming back from the battle, I will go for the Six of Wands. Let's see what we can get about it. Alright, three cards, guys. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. You may have experienced uh, situations that um, were cold in a way, you know, the feeling left out in the cold uh, meaning that we can associate uh, to the Five of Pentacles. Let's um, give as an example connections that... Uh, couldn't be able to make you feel warm, meaning um, successful, yes, but also understood in the proper way, something that um, was not a source of satisfaction. And if it is uh, an energy linked to professional endeavors, maybe in the past um, you couldn't grant in your favor the proper satisfaction that you were hoping for, and then for some reason something has changed for you, and um, you may have had some kind of breakthrough in order to fulfill a wish thanks to your finer qualities, your abilities, your uh, sacrifices also, meaning the effort required in order to be successful and basically the success moving forward, the victory and the triumph are represented by the Nine of Cups, which granted, and the King of Pentacles, which is an energy about uh, stability, being uh, solid, grounded, able to provide uh, for the needs. You know, this king is able to uh, take care of himself and is willing to do the same, even in favor of uh, those that he may care about. So this is quite a flow, and the release um is about the five of pentacles that can even be considered as some kind of you know when they say um some kind of mentality that is small but you were um kind of fueled by high expectations empress magician and you have managed to uh, make something happen in your favor in order to be successful fulfilling a wish and uh, granting in your favor a certain amount of stability, you know, plus this king is able to commit, so maybe it is a desire for some of you to uh, find the, the fair companion, you know, the partner that can be ideal in order to build something uh, meaningful, even in the love arena, something that can be ignited with this uh, Ace of Wands. Now guys, let's see the Seven of Swords. That can be a common um, a common energy that uh, has played a role in um, your journeys, uh, your journey and the one of the person in the first row. 
Ten of Pentacles. This is uh, pretty interesting because these Seven of Swords has a behavior that is not aimed at the best possible outcome can be about some kind of interactions that the both of you may have encountered along your journey in previous attempts to build love partnerships and for some reason you may have in common the factor about dealing with people that couldn't bring to the table the mature approach in order to be successful in the manifestation of a Ten of Pentacles scenario. You know, legacy, uh, an opportunity for a partnership uh, built on solid ground, family, um, the chance to um, provide for all the needs. So this is one thing. Another thing is if the seven of swordish energies are about people around you that uh, are jealous and envious the your, your ability to bring to the table eight of pentacles energy and three of pentacles can be the way to leave this situation behind you know, releasing them. What do you need to release? And this can be the opportunity to work together with a special person that you may recognize as the one for you, putting in the effort in order to bring in Ten of Pentacles outcome, you know? Kinda without paying attention to people around you that may be jealous because you recognize that these behaviors are not worthy of your time and of your energies you need to manifest something completely different and uh, allow me to say uh, more important and this can be the uh, cleansing process that some of you may have definitely learned before overcoming the five of pentacles uh, experiences of the past and because you can channel king of pentacles energy you can be even an example for the person in the first row kind of they can follow your lead and you know how to deal you, you see how many pentacles energies uh, are involved in the meeting and because there is this king I feel that those of you that may resonate truly have the chance to play a huge role in the manifestation of something auspicious, uh, kind of leaving behind whatever uh, disappointment we can find in the situations that may call for us to deal with uh, Seven of Swordish people or um, scenarios, you know, these kind of things. A detachment from the past, a releasing of energies that are not required is extremely helpful in order to manifest something meaningful and quite a source of satisfaction. Professionally, for some of you, um, going uh, side by side with the love opportunity. Truly, um, truly a, a great opportunity indeed. So guys, I will leave it at that. I hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. See you there if you want to join me. The link is below. If you resonate, let us know. Leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.